Hey guys, uh, my, uh, my name is uh, my name is Clickbait. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be joining you today, right? Uh, oh, great to have you. Welcome to the team. Uh, hey guys, my name is uh, Original Content. Uh, I'd like to join you. No one likes you. Go away. Oh. Hey guys, my name is Okono and welcome to another video. Today, I've run out of ideas, as you can see. But uh, I just want to answer one simple question, which no one's asked us before. I just wanted to answer it. And that question is, why do I do YouTube? And I've asked myself this question uh, quite a lot recently. And I've been thinking, why do I make YouTube videos, right? Why do I do this? Because personally, I'm quite insecure, right? Um, I'm insecure about what others think of me. I'm insecure about my voice. I'm insecure about my teeth. As you can see, I've got, is it this, this side? Huh? I've got that teeth, I've got a tooth there that's pushed back from when I was younger, it grew earlier, so it's pushed back, and I'm really insecure about that whenever I laugh or smile, uh, I'm insecure about my looks, right, I'm, I'm ugly, right, <laughs> On the, I'm just brutal honesty here, I am ugly, right, um, I don't have a lot of self-confidence because of said reasons, but uh, I just wondered why do I make YouTube videos, why do I feel comfortable making videos to put on the internet for everyone to see when I'm not even comfortable with how I look and I've come up with a few reasons firstly money obviously right don't even don't even pretend right don't even pretend you have not considered YouTube for the money right I know you have I know you right right I know when Jack Jacksepticeye says that he does it for the fans, you know that he probably makes a few million a year, right? Don't even pretend. Right, secondly, self-esteem, right? Now, I, j I just feel insecure, you know? So I don't have a lot of self-esteem. And I feel like YouTube helps me to, like, open up. To be honest, I'd be much, much happier, like, talking to a friend than the camera. But, I mean, I can't really record all of my conversations with friends, even though they are a lot more interesting with what I have to say by myself, you know? Yeah, another thing is confidence, right? Now, I'm not very confident, but... I've been doing YouTube for a few years now and uh, I've been going on and off you know for a few months I haven't quite settled down to be serious with YouTube you know uh, try and get some money out of it I've never done that before but I am quite comfortable talking in front of a camera and explaining and you know explaining stuff under pressure so uh, recently today we had year 9 English speaking exams where you've got to go in front of the class and present and everyone had these you know huge two three pages of, of uh, speeches and they were all about really deep complicated philosophical topics you know like um, uh, like terrorism and mental health and stuff and you know they were reading every single word and they were looking down the whole time and yeah it was very well presented with loads of facts but I mean I only had uh, I only wrote down seven you know really short sentences and like notes on a scrap piece of paper and me made made a presentation for us and I was fine you know I was comfortable because what I was talking about I was passionate about and I think I got that confidence and that you know skill of wanting to talk about something that is passionate from YouTube so YouTube has helped me a lot uh, another thing creativity right so I don't think I would have unlocked as much creativity as I already have if I hadn't been doing YouTube for example video editing right I never knew right that you could take randomly formatted clips and turn them into an amazing sequence which people could view and watch and have a story in it and be complicated so video editing has really helped me with uh, creativity and also having to make thumbnails for videos right it's really helped me with my photo editing skills uh, I've become more interested in photography in general now if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I'm um, sliding more towards uh, photography right now which is really interesting because YouTube's kind of unlocked that creativity for me and also I get to experience expand my skills as I've just said expanding my uh, video skills you know I'm probably gonna upgrade from this webcam into a decent camera like a Canon 700D well no that's a bit too expensive probably like a used Canon 600D or Canon 1300D you know something like that in the next few years when I can get enough money and uh, yeah that's pretty much why I do YouTube of course there's the money but there's also the confidence self-esteem you know expanding my skills and I think that's really important with YouTube and it applies to whatever you do so for example as I used the example of my English speaking exam before and um, these people uh, like all, all my classmates had word by word three pages written out for them and they, they were presented with facts and figures but not you know with eye contact and you know smooth flow and everything well I mean I, I don't mean to offend anyone from school but like um 
I hope you know what I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to offend people, if, okay, probably best not to talk anymore in case I offend more people. But what I'm trying to say is, if you have everything laid out for you and your chosen a set path, for example, you're going to do, uh, let's say, chemistry, you're going to become a pharmacist, you're going to go to university, you know, you're going to get a brilliant job, that's all good and everything, but I mean, you can also have a very nice life from starting out with just a few things, you know, just starting with a few basic guides in life and then building up yourself from there with creativity, you know, just experiencing new things, you know, maybe see the world, and you know, you don't have to be the richest, most privileged person to have a nice life, you can actually, you know, experience things and, you know, you can be creative and discover stuff by yourself. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you so much for listening. I know this is kind of serious and professional, not as many jokes as I would have liked, but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.